So Oliver was the guy. Yeah, he um He's... he was would speak with Trent Ballinger. Right, 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 right. Okay, yeah, Oliver. Who we love. Oliver said What I uh, let me read this in the yeah. What the f So I wonder if she knew she was posting that on her birthday. What are the chances that she knew that? She knew. You think she knows her his wife's birthday? Do you if it's know? that close to her birthday, she knows it. Right, that could explain why. Mm -hmm. So how many days... Did why would that factor into it, though? Like, but it's easier to remember. Yeah, making. you're like, oh, my ex is... Uh, my ex's ex has, like, almost the same birthday as me. No, I'm not saying why would she remember the ex's birthday. Why would that factor into her strategy of when to post it? Petty. But what It's it, a petty party. Yeah, it's a petty party. But what, like, I tend to agree with you more, Dan. Why would she talk to minors? You know, like, why does she do anything? Well, I mean, <laughs> she's yeah, petty. Yeah, yeah, we, why does anybody do <laughs> yeah. anything? Uh, but I, the 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 ex-husband and 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 in particular the ex-wife didn't have anything to do with this situation, the present situation. Well, also, she's certainly spiteful about Josh right now because he sat down and did that interview. Oh, because of the interview thing. Yeah. Okay, I mean... Well, let me ask you this. Do you think that Josh or his current wife cares that she posted the video then? I don't think they would care at all. They were probably annoyed. You think so? Yeah. Well, he did post about it. Mm -hmm. Like, remember... He, he no, said, he had the only tweet. energy I want to put online Oh, today. that was his response. Yeah. He was like, I'm just celebrating my wife today. Got it. He kind of made it that... Okay, I mean, he put it out there more. That like, oh, she's posting about my wife's birthday maybe it's kind of crazy that it was the same I don't day know. I, I don't I'm, know I'm, maybe I'm just not I'm not brain poisoned in the same way that I don't understand mm. the, the like the strategy there but uh, I believe you you know more you you know the most about this Olivia he's so. the expert yeah it's really just at this point like any mean thing I'm like Pe I can't I can't write it off people are saying she wanted Josh's attention on Josh's wife's birthday it's narcissistic behavior. Well, he did give her attention. He did uh, basically address her in his tweet. That's true. So I did have that Clearly, he that... was thinking about it. He was talking about it. Yeah. So that that did happen. True. Although I don't think Josh has any feelings for Colleen, does he? No, but he's certainly hurt. Yeah, he's hurt, which I guess means something. Yeah. Oh. Oliver continues. Excuse me. <clears throat> Colleen says nothing about Trent throughout all of this really makes me think that she doesn't want to condemn his action. That's a good point by Oliver. Yep. Totally. Oliver, of all the people involved in this, was, in my opinion, the most... And, okay, I shouldn't... I'm, I'm not trying to phrase it in a way that makes so, anyone else's more so or less so. But on a personal level, I found their interaction super disturbing. Oliver was very much preyed upon. Oh my god, that was just straight up pedophilic grooming. Mm -hmm. Like in the truest sense of the word. Not in like, oh, what does grooming mean? No, like that's what it is. What's your and argument? we're not even apologizing or addressing that. She fostered a relationship with her fans that allowed for her brother to get close to them. If she's not going to say that, and she's going to put her babies all over YouTube, bro, yeah, you should bad. say something. That was whoo, that brother shit is wild. Yeah. What's your argument? Shut up, Dennis. I'm not talking about freaking incest. We're not even dude. talking about incest. Yeah. Brother and sister want to make love. All right. Bro, stop. Somebody you escort him out. Get him out of here, AB. We need what we need is more Prager U videos. Stat. It's incest. <laughs> What I have picked up from Colleen is that she wanted to start vlogging again, but felt like she couldn't vlog again without apologizing first. So she just got it out of the way as quickly and as vaguely as possible. She didn't apologize because she wanted to. I mean, exactly. Mm -hmm. That's pretty much exactly yep, what totally. happened. Nailed it. She needs to individually address the different things she has done, not just say she's sorry for everything and move on. That's not taking accountability. She's avoiding it. That's yeah. so true. I mean, and again, take it as a person who's got a 10 out of 10 perfect score. From the uh, well celebrated and illustrious um, psychologist in Seattle. That's exactly what I said too, Oliver. I co signed that with you, my friend. Psychologist in Seattle? Yeah, that's, I think it's something like that. 
Psychology in Seattle. Yeah, something like that. Oh. Is it Fraser? Dr. Fraser Crane. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, maybe that's a reference to I don't know. But um, have we have yeah. we watched that on the show before? I don't know if we've ever. Uh, I think you watched it on See You Next Tuesday or something. It's worth the watch. I don't think we actually watched I, it. I, <laughs> yeah, I bet you did. Maybe on the you Ethan Klein so. channel you did. <laughs> did I? I don't know if I did. I think I made the apology on the Ethan Klein channel. I see. But uh, it wasn't, a, I didn't think it would be in good taste to immediately follow it up <laughs> with my perfect apology. Right. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. All right. Uh, we love you, Oliver. Mm hmm. Sorry good, about good all this. There. There's some bullshit. We need some account. I need steps to know that Trent is not going to interact with kids anymore. I also do. You know, like what the hell? Uh, Becky, who we love and appreciate, mm-hmm. had this to say. Um, I don't know if I w- if I was calling and I was sorry, I would probably delete the ukulele video and donate all the money from it. That's just me. So um, I don't believe she made money from the ukulele video, as far as we can tell. I think she should take it down. Taking it down, though, is probably the right thing to do. Because she's calling all of Why them Why would you liars? want it up? Why would you want it up? There's no reason, like, leaving it up is standing behind what you said in yeah. it. I think she's maybe just really proud of the musical achievement. I mean, it is... I mean, we saw it had 20 million views mm-hmm. or something. It shook the world. It shook the world. It was, it, it was a moment. Mm-hmm. Uh, but yeah, I mean, it, it like you said, is basically a video of her accusing a bunch of people of being liars. So mm-hmm. I don't know how you can the be people sincere about an apology for. now. If, yeah. uh, That's a good point. She's like, I'm so sorry to everybody. Anyway, guys, watch my last upload where I call them all fucking liars. <laughs> <laughs> right. She, uh, Becky continues trying to apologize while that video making fun of grooming and fart jokes is still up. Girl, what are you doing? Well said. This video is articulated so well and sums up all my feelings perfectly. She's talking about Adam's uh, okay. video. Um, she is going to continue her career and we can't change that, but this time so much information is available for the public. Endless videos, screenshots, articles from Hope Profile news outlets, and more. Most importantly, I am always sending all my love to Adam, Oliver, Alex, Ella, Josh, April, and all the Leonies worldwide, and countless others. The bravery each and every one of you has demonstrated has inspired me to be a better person. None of this was in vain, and I'm proud of you all. I, no, definitely wasn't in vain. Not at all. Mm. Yeah. That's beautiful. Not at all, not at all. Wait, I don't know who Ella is. Ella, um was one of Colleen's ex-fans who was terminally ill, and Colleen uh, was speaking to Johnny, I think, and Johnny released the text where Colleen was like, she's not really sick, she just wants to be friends with me. Oh, shit. So fucked up. I remember now. That's nuts! And Johnny even uh, posed that Colleen had written characters after. Okay, okay, okay. Which is so fucked. So she, so she's... Okay, let me read this before I comment. So Ella says, I'm not going to talk about it besides saying this because it hurts, but honestly, if she wanted to, she could contact people she hurt and apologize and maybe take it. I mean, contact her for Christ's sake. Literally. (laughs) That's so messed up. But honestly, love to hear from her privately that she knows she hurt me deeply. Uh, If she doesn't care for me enough to do that, that's also fine. Honestly, at this point, I'm kind of indifferent, but don't prevent Pretend it was a while ago and doesn't matter. Last thing I'll say, I pray to God no one ever feels the need to be my friend because of my illness. In my personal life, these illnesses have actually impeded my relationships and I have suffered immensely as a result. Being chronically ill has destroyed my life. And to know that someone I admired so greatly alleged, alleged, allegedly thought my fight wasn't genuine ripped my heart out. It still does. If you take anything away from this, please let it be that being kind is the greatest thing you can do for someone. If you don't like someone, that is fine. But don't string them along for years. It's fine to not like everyone. That's actually being very human. I have people who don't like me, and it's not a problem. Anyways, be strong, guys. Love to her. So much love. If anybody doesn't want to be your friend because you're sick, fuck them. Are you kidding? But not even that. You seem like such a beautiful person. But not even that to fucking talk shit. Yeah. To say you're faking your illness. Oh, man. That's fucked up. That's crazy, dude. 
Love to Ella. Yeah. We're sending love. So much. We're sending love, like... How In do droves. We... Yeah. Just, everybody's doing this to their screen right now, Ella. Mm -hmm. Everybody at home, everyone watching, let's get those fingers up for Ella. Okay. We love so you. Much love. <laughs> we love you. You're very special. You're very mm -hmm. special. And for the record, I don't think you're lying. Agree. Not even brave to say. It's a brave. It's I think a you're brave amazing. Stance. I think you're not. I don't. You know. Thank you. Soph, and then which one was Soph again? What was her story? Soph was uh, just super involved in the fandom, and I included some of their tweets in the in the first. And oh. they uh, they were in group chats, I think, but not ones. <coughs> <clears throat> Got it. Um, do I start from the bottom? Any of those are just ideas that I I agreed with. My dad really said if Colleen has time to film a video, she has time to pay us back for her Miranda shows. Hilarious. It's crazy because why didn't Colleen reach out to Adam, Becky, and Oliver to personally apologize? She really should have done that. Mm -hmm. That would have made a that would have been a night that would have made a difference. I feel like I think it would have made a huge difference. Because go ahead. Sorry, because Adam said from the beginning, Colleen and Corey, if I get a private apology, I will not say anything else. And this was before he released screenshots. This oh. is before everything. He said, "If you say you are sorry to me, I will stop everything." He said that with his first video. He she said, still won't. It's so powerful just to get that acknowledgement, you know. Um, Soph continues, she just wanted happy birthday on her, or she wanted happy birthday wishes. <laughs> the biggest miracle is Colleen uploaded a vlog without exploiting her kids. Well, that didn't last long, as you understood. Two whole days.